else. Okay, so remember he needs to hear it from you. You are more assertive than he is. Use your big girl voice. That's what they always told me. Use your shouty voice. Your big girl shouty voice. He's got a big boy shouty voice happening. Everybody tells me it needs to be more assertive with care. I mean, just like, which doesn't mean mean, it just means like, be yeah. it, you know, like, go there, go hop, come here. Give her, and giving specific directions. Specific and, and clear and... Yeah, ah. there you go. I'm okay with that. Good ah. boy. Good. Give him his cookie. He was yeah, awesome. Uh -huh. I want you to drop your uh, hand on that turn and sort of pretend that you're grabbing a nose ring and kind of sweep, it, sweep your hand through so you can on see it. One? Yeah, because yeah. he's just kind of flipping behind you, so take I think the dog's personality really dictates how you handle them though. With Briar, he's still baby Briar, he's talking to Sharon Lindsay. And uh, we're talking and, and she says, uh, so, so how's baby Briar doing? I said, baby Briar's eight years old now. <laughs> but he will yeah, forever again, be baby like Briar because he was, like he that's his personality. He needs to see where he's the next a big wuss. Is, right? So it was really hard, so like Mary, you do turn, constantly use your him. big girl voice with him. Yeah. Yeah. Tell him what he needs to do. Yeah. This yeah. is yeah. what he needs. He needs leadership. Yeah. But, yeah. It, yeah. but it's baby Briar. But you have to be strong. Yeah. <laughs> At eight years old, he's still baby Briar. And I can be far more forceful with her. Because yeah. it's how you view her and, and how her personality but, is. But even at home, he's just...